how to make blends in paint first make it easy for yourself and set <coughs> the attributes to 125 by 125 this makes a small white box zoom in to a large size now take a line and set it to the color you want to change it to let's try black starting if you make it a thick line it might work easier or it might not put it across then change your color to the next one that you want to use and draw another slanted line across the page then choose another line which you want to use maybe and across the page put it as well choose the last line or as many lines as you want really <coughs> and put it across the page now Actually, I'm going to change this one to red. Alright, now that you have your lines across the page, to hit the fill bucket and fill in the uh, appropriate boxes based on the colors you use to make the lines. Alright, now that you have that multicolored rainbow, go here to stretch and skew click on it and type 1 in both boxes oops not in both I'm sorry <laughs> type 1 in the horizontal box that's what I meant to say alright now do it again or you can press control W that works too press 1 Alright, now you might see you have a little bit of a gradient here, and that's cool. <coughs> now if you type 500, it gets a little wider. Do it again. A little wider. And one more time. And you get 125 by 125 box with a uh, sunrise or a sunset gradient. And, um, if you're, you know, dedicated, <coughs> or you want a better effect, um, if you set th the uh, color properties to, um, 16 DPI or higher, then you'll get a better background graphic with all these, without all these little lines here. Um, my computer to use the hypercam can't support that, so that's the reason why you see these lines here. Yep, and that's how you do color blends in paint. Or, or, um, yeah. So, one less reason why you need to buy Photoshop. I'm not saying that Photoshop's bad, but, you know, if you don't want to spend money, and you want to make a color blend, well, here you go. Enjoy!